Hello, my name is Ivan Mandic and you are watching development of FPX game engine. As you can see from the title, it says episode number 7, and it is episode number 7. To be honest, I didn't have so much time, so I didn't work on many things, but I did manage to do some cool stuff that I'm going to show you in this episode, and I hope that you will enjoy them. Also, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and let's begin! thing that you are watching here is a new game editor, more of a level editor in a moment. I implemented a new picking system. Here you can see two buttons. One says L for level and other R for resources. In level we can find new, open, save and save as. And in resources we can find two buttons for loading models and textures. To get paths of the models and textures I'm using Windows API and since I'm recording this with game recording tool, you are not able to see the procedure. So yeah, it's successfully loaded. As you can see I didn't work so much on GUI. Now I created object and I will now change it model and texture. And show you the first tool, and that is the moving tool. It's used for moving. You can see free move and moving along the axis. I can move ar along any axis. Also if I right click axis I'm ignoring it and moving along the other two axes. Second tool you are going to see is scaling. As we can see it works. This is free scaling. I can also scale along the axis just as with moving. So I copied and pasted the first object and now I will enlarge it so to make something one one more time copy paste and enlarge as I said I didn't work so much on the GUI so I'm doing all this with keyboards changing tools and all that stuff but probably in the next episode I mean definitely you will see how it all works with GUI now multiple selection and moving it works fine I created a new object I will now change it model and texture I will just show you the rotation and free rotation this is rotation around the axis and now I will show you the free rotation that depends on camera position let's try to change the camera position to see how it looks you can see once I change the camera position it would just work fine and delete. I press delete and the object was deleted. Next thing I'm going to show you is multiple objects rotation. So I'll move this tree here and copy it on the other side and after that you will see how does the multiple objects rotation works. So copy paste, selecting both of them and copy paste and rotating. You can see that I'm sorry I accidentally used moving. You can see that the axis is now in the center and objects are, are actually rotating around it. Okay here I have few beautiful trees so let's copy one and move it to the center. I will move this one to the center. Right click on the axis. Left click on the axis and now scale it. Enlarge it. Okay, And also change texture. That would be pretty cool to have a different texture for this tree in the middle. One more time. No, wrong texture. Okay, this is the one. Except from using tools, I wanted to make them customizable. And I did it on the way 
that you can turn off some of the things that are happening when you are using the to those tools that is the current thing that I done so in this case I turned off standard scaling because when you're using when you're scaling multiple objects they are moving from the center and they are getting larger or oppositely and also I can do the same thing with moving I can turn off moving and only left scaling on and if I select multiple objects and scale them they will not move anywhere they will be scaled just as if they were selected one by one and scaled one by one that is pretty damn cool I can do the same thing with rotation you know once you rotate multiple objects they are rotating around the center but I can make them rotate every selected object around its own center by turning off position changing and you can see how it works just fine and that can save pretty much time so this level looks pretty decent let's save it and delete it by clicking on new level yep so I will now show you the loading of that same level okay so let's see it loading there is not so much to see about it except that it works and it does I successfully loaded the save level and as you can see it is the same level now more to say about it is that it saved as a binary until the next episode I will improve these current tools I will definitely make some nice GUI as you can see I gave up on Windows API GUI because it's pain in the ass and I decided to do everything with OpenGL what, and that is really fun and I have no problems with it I think this level editor currently looks cool it works all tools that I made work fine that is pretty damn awesome that is pretty much all I had to say for this episode I hope that you did enjoy it as I said before if you have any questions comments anything leave it in the comment section also don't forget to rate and subscribe I hope you did enjoy this episode, see you soon in the next episode, bye.